Japan has tested a railgun. According to the Procurement and Logistics Technology Agency, it was the first ever test of an electromagnetic booster aboard a ship. The tests are an important step in the development of this type of weapon. The Land of the Rising Sun plans to use the new railgun not only at sea, but also on land. The tests were conducted with the participation of the Maritime Self-Defense Force and the Japanese Ministry of Defense. Details of the test have not been disclosed. The published footage shows the cannon firing several shots. It is known that the railgun can accelerate a 40 mm 220 gram munition to Mach 6.5 numbers 2.23 kilometers per second. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force plans to install electromagnetic boosters on Atago-class destroyers. These ships are characterized by advanced capabilities to generate the energy required to operate weapons. Perhaps in the future, the railgun will become part of a missile defense system. The railgun, which was presented in May this year, took part in the tests. For this purpose, a year earlier, the Research Center for Ground Systems allocated $47.9 million to Japan Steelworks to create a prototype. And the history of the Japanese cannon itself goes back to 1990. It was then that the Research Center began work on a 16mm railgun. After 26 years, specialists moved on to creating a modification to destroy air and surface targets.